Oh, we're on. <clears throat> I'm Jason Mazada. And I'm Anya Hegarty. And here are this afternoon's top stories. On Twitter last week, the president referred to Oprah as insecure. Well, that's the equivalent of Indiana Jones accusing someone of being a hater of snakes. <laughs> Donald Trump falsely claimed that his State of the Union address had the largest all-time viewing numbers. So, if the Mueller investigation doesn't get the job done, maybe the Nielsen group can nail the guy for perjury. <laughs> Donald Trump says he hopes Hillary Clinton runs again in 2020. Yeah, he just bought an old joke book at a yard sale. Democrats are worried that Trump might become a two-term president. I'm not all that concerned as long as he continues to be a two Big Macs for dinner president. In local news, city-owned surveillance cam cameras have been banned in Northampton. Officials were worried that the footage would show neighboring communities just how much hummus we eat here. <laughs> also in Northampton, there'll be a public meeting on February 27th to discuss local retail marijuana regulations. They've also scheduled two backup meetings in case people totally space on the date, man. That's a good idea. A Massachusetts driver was pulled over for having a fake license plate fashioned from a pizza box. What's worse, the plate number was spelled in pepperoni. Penguin Random House has signed the Obamas to a publishing deal. While Michelle plans to deliver her memoirs, Brock is working up a Star Trek Deep Space Nine fan fiction novel. Former NBA great Bill Walton claims he has attended over 850 Grateful Dead concerts. Walton said both songs sounded great. <laughs> Sorry to any deadheads, we don't, we don't want to offend. Uh, Chipotle, offers hours, uh, excuse me, Chipotle offers hourly workers vacation time, sick leave, and tuition reimbursement. However, the company still insists on paying employees in guacamole. It is the 100th anniversary of women in the UK gaining voting rights. In a related story, women worldwide can now celebrate the one-month anniversary of Lady Doritos. <laughs> yes, we have graphics, folks. A new study shows that by 2025, one in every five adults will be obese. And by 2040, 80% of the human body will consist of Twinkie filling. A new study shows that Instagram is the worst app for young people's mental health. The second worst app? any online checking account app. <laughs> the White House has barred the New York Times, CNN, and Politico from briefings. Now only Breitbart News, Maxim, and Highlights Magazine are allowed access. Please be sure your subscriptions are current, folks. A new poll shows cash is the most popular thing given to a college student upon graduation. The least popular thing given to college graduates? A job. The UK's Forest Green Rovers Soccer Club is the first professional sports franchise to go completely vegan. The team describes their style of play as hungry. According to a career builder survey, eight out of 10 Americans live paycheck to paycheck. The survey also shows that nine out of 10 Philadelphians live hoagie to hoagie. Hackers have stolen more than 70 million in Bitcoin. Police say, be on the lookout for this subject. <laughs> Donald Trump is asserting that he's going to bring back coal jobs. That's right, he's also looking into expanding the lamp lighting, organ grinding, and blood leaching industries. What's that? Oh, he's here. Okay, uh, we're gonna bring out our first guest, I believe. A new type of daredevil stressing safety first is gaining popularity across the country. Here to tell us about the trend is the founder and president of the Practical Thrill Seeker Society, Rip Del Rey. Oh yeah! Give it up for Rip! Give it up for Rip! Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, I'm just trying to figure out here, and the audience as well, I'm sure, is can you please explain to us what a practical thrill seeker is? Uh, well, Jason, I consider myself an adventurer, a daredevil, a daredevil, an adrenaline junkie. Uh, you know, like Pop Van Broom, it's me. 
Uh, but when filling out my uh, tax forms, I only have room for a computer support specialist. Uh, not to mention, I have a bad back. I'm, uh, I'm definitely afraid of heights, and uh, I'm, I'm scared to death of insects. Hmm. Okay, Rip. Uh, last summer, a friend and I jumped off a cliff into a lake. It was probably about 40 foot drop. Uh, is that something practical thrill seekers do? You're insane. <laughs> Did you just hear what I said about being afraid of heights? Uh, no. Um, when I jump into the abyss, all right, when I leap into the abyss, I, I, I want to know that the abyss is uh, close at hand. Uh, I, I usually jump off of uh, uh, things you might find around the office, like chairs or, or desks or, or, or things at home, like maybe the sofa or land on the sofa. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, Rick. Okay. The, the, the things you're talking about here, we're looking at a two, three foot drop at the most. <laughs> well, sure, but I have hardwood floors at home. I could, like, turn my ankles to dust when I hit. Okay. Slam. Fine, we're just trying to understand what it is that you do. What I do? <laughs> I bring the fireworks. I bring the pop, bam, boom to the mundane. I walk on hot coals wearing Crocs. <laughs> and did I mention that I'm also a martial arts expert? Rip, can you please stand up for the audience for a second here? I... Of course. Now, now, hang on. I took karate when I was a kid. And if I remember correctly, the yellow belt was the second belt that you receive. Is, is this true? Uh, well, let's just say that I've had a few payment problems at the dojo. Uh, <laughs> Master yeah. Simon's uh, a little uptight about that sort of thing. But uh, I'd be honest with you. The color of the belt is just a suggestion. It doesn't really mean expertise in the field. I mean, here. Come on, man. Let's rein this in. This segment can't go on forever. Oh, what am I, boring the snooze fest? Who booked this? Afternoon thing? snooze. <sighs> I'm for real, man. I really am. I can see that. So, you know what? You can pack thrills in without even moving a muscle. What? What? <sighs> There's excitement in everyday life, okay? There's danger around you everywhere you go. Just close your eyes, okay? Imagine tripping down a small flight of stairs. Imagine getting a little charge when you plug in your phone charger. Well, one of these lights could fall on our heads at any moment. Um, seems pretty safe to me. Rip, um, I have to say I'm not really worrying about any lights falling on us. Well, you should be. Close your eyes and try it. <sighs> hmm. Rip, we're on the next page here. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, you ever run with scissors? Uh, when I was six. Uh, you, if you do, you should use the uh, ones with the rounded edges. Okay, this is really lame. I, I, I can handle this, okay. Um, Rip. Huh. Unless you can provide us with some sort of death-defying stunt, mm -hmm. as you promised when we, our booking agent called you, we're going to have to ask you to leave. All right, all right. Death-defying? I got it. Okay, I'm going to need a rubber band, three paper clips, some maracas, and a glass of water. Uh, no, get him out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to go. Right? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I got this. Uh, let me go to the finale. I got, I got, I got something really, really well planned here, okay? Um, oh, jeez. Uh, all right, here we go. You ready, everybody? Can I get a drum roll, please? Drum roll! Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Uh, can, can I have some help? <laughs> Thank you! Rick Del Rey, everybody. And back to the fake news. Thanks for staying with us, folks. The Trump administration is looking to cut food stamps and instead offer a meal ticket delivery service for families in need. So remember to type in offer code TRUMPPOD20 to receive 20% off your first order. Hey, Jason, have you tried the new Google Arts and Culture app? 
Oh, yeah, is that the one where you take a picture of yourself and then it matches you up with a famous painting? Oh, yeah. Want to see mine? Can, can we, do we have that kind of technology? <laughs> oh, we sure do. I think it's pretty accurate. Okay, well, let me see if I can just shoot mine up on there, too. Hang on a second. And let's see this. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I would love to have sideburns like that, I gotta say. Just takes a little time. Yeah. Um, I wonder what it would be like if we put Donald Trump in the app. Yeah, Benny, can we, can we see what Donald can we try Trump would like? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, not bad, huh? We told you we had visuals, folks. Ah, more about Donald Trump. The president is allowing classified documents from the JFK assassination to be released. And he will also be reopening the Who Shot JR case. Recently, Pope Francis married a Chilean couple on a flight to Peru. Following the ceremony, it got a little awkward on the airplane when the couple tried to consummate their marriage. April 9th through the 15th, 2017, was National Library Week. And because I'm celebrating it right now, I'm racking up some serious late fees! Paris has opened its first nude Costa. restaurant. Their slogan is, the customer is always gross. Finnish and Swedish McDonald's are now selling McVegan burgers. That wasn't the punchline. Uh, <laughs> This healthier plant-based menu option has come about following Mayor McCheese's triple bypass surgery. Two Americans were arrested for taking a butt selfie, aka a belfie, in front of a Bangkok Buddhist temple. The men were fined and also subjected to taking an intense week of Thai buns lift classes before leaving the country. Disney has unveiled a sneak peek of Anaheim's Star Wars land. The theme park will feature interactive elements such as battling stormtroopers, flying the Millennium Falcon, and assembling an Ikea bookshelf with Chewbacca. Sounds fun. Yeah. A new study shows that Northport, Sarasota, Bradenton, Florida is the happiest city in the United States. The least happy? Crippling student loan debt, Ohio. But I do hear that crippling student loan debt Ohio is rather lovely this time of year. Hartford, Connecticut police arrested two men trying to sell drugs at their police station. The men were also seen wearing these shirts. <laughs> NASA is now booking commercial uh, space flights with the company SpaceX. Not to be outdone, UberX is welding a rocket onto some dude's Taurus. A New York Times article claims that men who exercise strenuously are more likely to have a lower libido. So ladies, if you need me, I'll be backstage with a box of donuts on the sofa. A new study shows that cats do actually enjoy spending time with humans. However, the initiation process takes 11 years. <laughs> Um, now, Anya, I've been trying for a couple years to figure out what a meme is, and um, I spent some time on the computer researching it, and I believe I made one, and if you're into it, I'd like to share it with you. Definitely. Can we fly that up there, Benny? Uh, is, that, is, that, is that an audience? Is that a meme? It's kind of a meme. It's kind of a meme. <laughs> I, I, think I, need, I think I need to do some more research. <laughs> a psychic is going to prison after not paying taxes on 3.5 million in earnings. Strange she did not see this coming. Fox News has added former Trump aide Sebastian Gorka to their roster. Yeah, and I've heard they've also reached out uh, to the ghost of Yosef Goebbels for a morning show. A new study shows that thumb sucking could lead to fewer allergies. Now you finally have an excuse wearing your adult baby costume. <laughs> um, our next guest is a former United States president and a heck of a guy. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Sunday afternoon live hand to Mr. Abraham Lincoln.
Stop. <clears throat> it's Abraham Lincoln. That's all you got? <laughs> Mr. President, it is such an honor. Thank you for being on our show. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. I don't make many appearances these days. <clears throat> I'm guessing you can guess how I feel about old theaters. <laughs> the assassination. Oh is it too why, soon? Why do we take this venue? <laughs> uh, but seriously, why does anyone come on a talk show? They've got something to promote. Promote? Well, yeah. With this new buffoon in office, I... Well, look, I've always been very popular. Everybody knows that, right? But now, I, I, I gotta capitalize. I, I'm the Tom Hanks of presidents. <laughs> I, I totally get that. You're charming, you're bankable, you, I think of honor and trust whenever I think of Lincoln, yeah. Well, if you're the Tom Hanks of presidents, what does that make Donald Trump? Well, he's the Donald Trump of presidents. <laughs> now, why would you need something to promote? Aren't presidents paid rather well? Do you know what a president's salary was in my day? No idea. <clears throat> Let me just say, I didn't want this beard. I couldn't afford the razors. And, and we didn't know we could have merch. I made all my money post-mortem. Oh, sure, like Lincoln Logs? Lincoln Logs, always selling, yep. Yeah. There's the Lincoln Continental, a fine automobile, I'm told. I don't know. We didn't have those when I was around. I get points on a record by a nerd rock band called They Might Be Giants. I don't know what any of that means, but the money comes in. Licensing. Licensing? Licensing. Do you know every time they print a $5 bill, I get a penny? And I'm on the penny, too. So I get a taste there. <laughs> now, the things that you're talking about here, we would consider as evergreens. Do you have any new products? I've been waiting for someone to ask me that since I sat down. Nice work, Jason. Benny, could you fly the new product up on the screen, please? There it is, folks. My web store is open for business. Make America Abe again. Hashtag M-A-A-A. -A -A. Hashtag Ma! Well, thanks for having me. Really great to be here. Uh, Mr. President, just one more question before you go. <clears throat> Why, yes, of course, Anya. Uh, do you ever spend time with any other former presidents? Oh, I do, yes, of course. Uh, well, Adams and I have done our share of carousing. I won't tell you which one. Uh, George Washington and I were having an interesting conversation the other day. Uh, he said, you know, in our day, a president could not tell a lie. And uh, we thought nowadays, well, the president cannot tell the truth, it seems. And uh, ran into uh, Calvin Coolidge, mentioned I was coming up to Northampton, Massachusetts. And, uh, well, he didn't have much to say, shy guy, but uh, he did say, hey, Abe, it's close to your birthday. Why don't you check out a place called Harold's and get yourself an iced cream? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Honest Abe, everybody. Ma! <laughs> For the Sunday afternoon update, I'm Anya Hegarty. I'm Jason Mazzotta. Keep on smiling, America.